Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. In this second part, we're going to explore the technological advancements in airbag design. From improved sensors to stronger materials, let's see how airbags have evolved to become even more effective. Importance of front airbags Immediate protection They deploy almost instantly when a collision is detected, providing crucial protection within milliseconds. Collision response They are designed to absorb impact forces, reducing the likelihood of serious injuries to the head, neck, and chest. Placement Front airbags are typically located in the steering wheel for the driver and in the dashboard for the front passenger. Think of front airbags as a rapid response team. They are there to cushion you and help minimize the impact of a crash, acting much like a safety net. Side and curtain airbags Side and curtain airbags play a vital role in protecting passengers during side impacts, which can be just as dangerous as frontal collisions. These airbags deploy from the side of the vehicle, usually from the door or roof area. Role of side and curtain airbags Side impact protection They help protect the torso and head of occupants when a vehicle is hit from the side. Extended coverage Curtain airbags can cover the entire side windows, offering protection for passengers in both the front and rear seats. Stability during impact by inflating rapidly, these airbags keep occupants in their seats and prevent them from moving sideways during a collision. You can think of side and curtain airbags like an umbrella opening in the rain. They create a protective shield around you, preventing harmful contact with the vehicle's interior or another object. Knee and pedestrian airbags As safety technologies continue to evolve, Knee and pedestrian airbags have emerged as important additions to vehicle safety systems. Highlighting Knee and Pedestrian Airbags Knee Airbags These airbags deploy from under the dashboard to protect a passenger's knees and lower body during a collision. By cushioning the knees, they help prevent injuries to the legs and lower torso. Pedestrian Airbags Designed to help protect pedestrians in the event of a collision, these airbags deploy from the hood of the car. They create a softer impact surface to reduce injury severity when a vehicle strikes a pedestrian. These airbags enhance safety for both passengers and pedestrians, making cars safer for everyone on the road. Think of knee airbags as an extra layer of protection for your lower body, while pedestrian airbags act like a safety cushion for those who might be hit. In summary, the various types of airbags, including front, side, curtain, knee, and pedestrian airbags, are crucial for enhancing vehicle safety. Each type serves a specific purpose and collectively works to protect everyone involved in a collision. Understanding these airbags is key to appreciating modern vehicle safety features. Regulatory standards and testing Airbags are a crucial part of vehicle safety and their development goes hand in hand with strict regulatory standards and rigorous testing. Government agencies play a vital role in establishing guidelines that ensure these safety devices work effectively in protecting lives. Let's explore how these regulations shape the industry and the testing protocols involved. Government regulations Government entities, such as the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, in the United States, set the standards that manufacturers must follow. These regulations are not just suggestions, they are mandatory rules designed to save lives. Key components of these regulations include Deployment timing Standards specify how quickly an airbag must deploy during a crash. Quick deployment is essential to cushion the impact. Force limitations Regulations also dictate the amount of force an airbag can exert on a person. This is critical to prevent injuries from the airbag itself. Testing protocols Manufacturers must conduct extensive testing to ensure their airbags meet these standards. 
This includes crash test simulators that replicate various accident scenarios. Why do you think these regulations matter? They create a safety net, ensuring that all vehicles on the road come equipped with airbag systems that meet the same high benchmarks. Crash testing protocols. To make sure airbags function effectively, crash testing is a mandatory part of the process. This helps manufacturers understand how their airbags perform in real-life situations. Here's how crash testing generally works. Simulation setup. Engineers create crash test scenarios that simulate different types of collisions. These scenarios can include front, side, and rear impacts. Dummies equipped with sensors. Crash test dummies fitted with sensors are used to measure forces on the body. These dummies help determine how well an airbag protects a person during an accident. Data analysis. After each test, data is collected and analyzed. Engineers review the dummy's responses to ensure that airbags deploy correctly and exert safe forces. Testing goes beyond just performance. It also examines how different factors can affect airbag effectiveness, such as Vehicle speed How fast is the vehicle traveling at the moment of impact? Crash angle Is the impact straight on, or is it at an angle? Occupant size Airbags need to be effective for different body types. This careful approach helps guarantee that when an airbag deploys, it does so in a way that maximizes safety. Every test and every regulatory guideline boils down to one goal, preventing injuries and saving lives on the road. Impact on vehicle safety statistics Car airbags have fundamentally changed the landscape of vehicle safety. By cushioning the impact during a collision, these devices have saved countless lives. Understanding their impact on safety statistics gives us a clearer picture of why they are essential in modern vehicles. We've seen how technology has made airbags smarter and safer in this second part. But there's more to come. Stay tuned for part 3, where we'll dive into the different types of airbags and their specific roles in vehicle safety. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.